Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, this video I'll take you through my normal routine and as well as all the products that I really enjoy and cannot live without. So yeah, without further ado, here it is. Alright, so today I'm just going to focus more on like my basic routine and some of my diehard products that I just can't live without. Um, I feel like that would be a very good starting out video. So first we're going to go in with our Bobbi Brown. I know it's so bougie, but it helps my skin. It keeps, keeps my face feeling really hydrated and it's good. Next, I usually go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish as a second primer. This tends to really do help keep everything in place. And then, so for this video, we're going to go in with our Makeup Forever HD Foundation. And we're going to take the Morphe Makeup Sponge and apply it all over the face. Just gonna take a little, one more pump. Next we're gonna go with the IT Cosmetic Concealer and just highlight my face with it. Sometimes it doesn't wanna come out. And next we're just going to buffer that in. Next I'm going to go in with the MAC Cosmetics Patrick Star Setting Powder and just put it everywhere I did concealer. Now since I do have dry skin, I'm not going to go too heavy on it. And then next we're going to dust it off and then set the rest of the face with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder. Next, we're gonna go in with this Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I just recently got this, and I really love it. I think it works just as great as the Kat Von D, which is also one of my favorites. Now that we're contour, we're going to go in with the lighter shades and brighten up the under eyes. And the last, we're going to contour with the nose. So next, my favorite part, highlight. We're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. I love this palette. It is like my absolute go-to. And we're gonna go in with today, we're going with the shade, I think, Forever Young. I like to take my highlight all the way up the temple, around the eye, and down the cheekbone. And then to make your nose look way more sleeker, more sleek, just take it right down the middle. And let's do the cupid bow. So if you feel like your contour looks a little weird, what you can do is you can go back into your contour palette and just clean up underneath. Or bake. But if you're dry like me, this is how you want to go. 
Next, we're gonna go in with the Anastasia and Brow Veils Dip Brow Pomade to scrub out the brows. The other brow. Now the real challenge is to make them look symmetrical. Next, to clean up the brows, I personally like to go in with the MAC Angelie Paint Pot um, eyeshadow. Normally, people go in with a quick concealer, but again, that's just way too drying for me. So, I like going with this option. And then next for a lip, we're gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics I'm New. It's a go-to of mine that I absolutely love. Done. Last but not least, setting spray. Right now, the Morphe is currently is my favorite setting spray. This is just a continuous spray. And there is my routine. And that was my go to routine. And if you want to see my go to eyeshadow routine, that'll be featured in the next video. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching my video.